Welcome to Outside Smoke. Uh, we were debating, I think it's episode 16, maybe 17. It's getting hard to remember, but yeah. we're getting up there, we're getting up there. We, uh, we have a special guest today. We're kind of switching our theme a little bit. We're trying to get a couple more coaches on the show. Today we have Sam Bush, the new head coach at TCU. Sam, thanks for joining us today. Really excited to talk to you, man. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. Awesome. So you're joining us from your, from your new office over there in, in uh, Fort Worth, huh? This is actually my assistant coach's office, but yes. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we're, uh, shoot, man, we're, we're on the fly right now just trying to, trying to get our feet on the ground and kind of get settled in. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going good so far, though. Cool. So you said you've been out there for about a, a week and a half. Um, obviously made the transition from Virginia. I think the entire swimming world was under the impression that uh, Augie was going to take like his whole staff from Virginia to Arizona. And then, you know, boom, we found out that you're going to TCU. So can you kind of walk us through that process a little bit, why you decided that this is where you wanted to go and, and um, you know, kind of what your plan is moving forward? Yeah. You know, it's, um, it's just, it's, it's funny how life works out, man. Um, you know, uh, timing is everything. And, uh, you know, when, uh, when Augie um, got the head coaching job at Arizona, obviously that's a place where we grew up. Um, when my dad was the head coach there for 22 years, so um, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of pull for us coming back to Tucson. And, and when Augie uh, got the job, you know he he wanted the whole staff to, to go with him because we felt like we had such you know such good chemistry and such a good thing going at, at UVA when we were there. Um, but uh, you know this you know when when Augie took the the head coaching job at Arizona, um, you know TCU. Uh, you know, I, I know they had a vacancy, and, and so there was kind of a, um, a little bit of communication in, in the past between myself and the athletic director here, Chris Conte, um, who was actually the assistant athletic director for Jim Livingood uh, back when uh, uh, back at Arizona. So he knew me. Um, he knew I was an assistant for Augie, um, and, uh, you know, it was, I think, you know, one of the, the toughest things to do is, you know, to tell – um, not only your boss, but your older brother that, you know, you're, you want to go out on your own and, and kind of emulate what, what he did, you know, in, in, in being a head coach. And, you know, obviously, man, I've, I've always wanted to be a head coach. Um, you know, I grew up in a, in a big swimming family. Um, and for me to, you know, to, to, to look at this opportunity, it was something that I couldn't pass up. For sure. And I mean, you've, you've now coached under, Augie and and Frank, so dad and dad and brother. What are some of the takeaways you've gotten from both? And who's easier to work with? <laughs> who's who's the who's the difficult one of the bunch? And and yeah, I just would love to hear what you've learned from them. Um, you know, it's I, I've been I've been really fortunate to to learn from a lot of great coaches in, in the sport, and not just um, from my own family. Um, you know, just my you know my work. Uh, you know. You know, there, there's a lot of ties within this own Big 12 conference now of, you know, uh, Vic Riggs, who is the head coach at, at West Virginia, and, um, and Rourke Fink, who's the, the um, you know, the associate head coach for the Texas women. You know, those, are, those are primary mentors of mine, um, and I have the utmost respect for them. So, you know, those are, um, those are just guys that, I'm, that, I, that I believe, um, you know, really kind of shaped me in becoming a coach. But, you know, to answer your question – uh, you know, I'd probably say Augie, uh, just because, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, you know, it's, it's like growing up in the house, you know, you, you, you get at each other all the time, you know, you fight and stuff, but, you know, at the end of the day, you see eye to eye on, you know, you know, what, um, you know, what it means to run a program. And he certainly held me accountable, um, a lot of, you know, all, all those four years when we were at Virginia, but I'm, I'm forever grateful for that. Yes, yeah, so you were talking a little bit about the Big 12 Conference. Um, you know, Texas is right next door for us. Mm -hmm. What's it like? You know, I know you've only been there for, you know, just a minute or two. Um, but what's it been like? What's the energy like? Clark and I were talking before the show about how many moves are being made in that conference right now. So just give uh, us a little bit of backstory and in, um, into your short time that you've been at Fort Worth. You know, this is um, it's, it's pretty humbling, uh, you know, walking into a position where, you know, I'm replacing a head coach that was here for 38 years. Um, you know, Richard Sebesma retired, um, and so, you know, for me to to take over this program, um, I didn't, I I haven't taken this uh, 
this task lightly. And, uh, you know, there's, there are some things that I wanted to, that I, you know, that the ideas that I've always had about, um, you know, running a program that, you know, just, I, I've always thought about and Now, you know, I can finally, you know, kind of, um, you know, sink my teeth into what exactly I, I see a, a, a healthy program, um, you know, being, um, so that's, uh, it's, yeah, I mean, there is a lot of movement and, and for me to be here at TCU, the vibe is awesome. You know, these, uh, you know, I could tell these, you know, these athletes, first of all, they're, they're great student athletes. They've been very receptive to me, um, you know, very welcoming. Uh, and, and that, that means a lot to me because, you know, I, I think, um, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're craving, um, you know, an experience where, you know, they can, uh, you know, they can be competitive and, you know, they can advance this program forward from where it's been. So, you know, that's, uh, it, it makes me feel good to kind of pour my energy into them and, um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's very reciprocal. They're throwing it right back and, you know, we're getting, we're getting down on some old school, you know, you know, Arizona runs like we used to <laughs> back in the day, Clark. And, yeah. you know, that's, um, but it's, it really is, uh, to cool to kind of, or cool to, to kind of have that, uh, reception from not only the athletes, but, uh, just the whole athletic department. That's awesome. And, and to kind of further play on that theme, I mean, we were up there, uh, in February, and we did the um, TCU versus Texas dual meet live, and we took a tour around campus, and it was amazing. I mean, the facilities were incredible. I know currently you guys are swimming in the rec center, but it's still a great pool. You said there's some plans potentially to get a new pool built, but I kind of want to hear about that, and then I also want to hear about, um, you know, like TCU is a big football school, and they have a huge athletic department. They've got a lot going on there, and, I mean, you've been to two big schools prior to that, but the Big 12 is a little bit different. I mean, you're in Texas now. <laughs> so what, what are the effects that you've, you've felt from that uh, just around the athletics in general, the athletic department in general there at TCU? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the administration has been very clear on their objective, and that's to have athletics excellence. Um, and so, you know, we'd be naive to think otherwise of, you know, we, if we don't have a good facility, um, it, you know, it, that's, it, it's, it's not going to it's not going to help us anytime soon. You know, it's an arms race. I don't care what conference you're in, you know, in, in, in the sport of swimming, you know, having a, a 50 meter facility is, is paramount. Um, so that's, that's one thing that, um, that the athletic director has, um, has been very clear on that, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be breaking ground uh, within the next year, uh, near, year or two, so that we can open up a, a 50 meter outdoor pool uh, within three or four years. So that's, you know, that's pretty much set in stone. You know, it's, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, this is, it's a, it's a big athletic department. Um, it's, it's funded very well by the football program and, um, you know, it's, you know, the, and the, the, the support in the city of Fort Worth and, and from the TCU alumni, you know, they're, they just, they want to see every sport succeed, not just football. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's why, you know, every, every sport has just, uh, kind of raised the bar a little bit. And, um, and, and, and I think they, you know, I felt that right away when, you know, I came in on my interview and, and they made it loud and clear that, you know, they, they want to just see the swimming and diving program, take a step further and, you know, climb the big 12 ranks. And, um, you know, I, I took that as a, as a, a challenge that um, it's, it, it sounded great to me and it, it just energizes me every time I think about that. Yeah. So you talked about the, or how a 50 meter pool is paramount when you're recruiting. Um, so piggybacking off of the recruiting aspect, what are three things that you would look for in a recruit? This is actually a question off of Facebook Live. So you're going to be doing yeah. some, some brand new recruiting. You're going to be diving in. What are three things that you're going to try and build your program off of, some core values that you're going to be looking for? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I want to build a culture of, of, uh, of energy. You know, first and foremost, I think, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm not that far removed from being, you know, being in college. And so I, I know what it's like to, you know, that daily grind of, you know, going to school and, and um, you know, and being a student athlete. And so, you know, I, I know that, you know, when, when athletes come in and, you know, they got something going, you know, maybe it's something going on in their personal life or, or whatnot. I mean, that, that's the coach's job because it's all about the athlete. You know, make no mistake about it. The coaches are here to serve the athlete. Um, so, I, you know, I think just an energetic environment, you know, with, uh, you know, because that just it creates just a new – electricity um and i think you know the competitive edge i mean that's that's something that uh you know if looking for you know in recruits i mean i want to know if they want to race 
Um, because that's at the end of the day, that's what the sport is all about. You know, if you're, you know, if you're eyeball to eyeball with, you know, somebody in the other lane, you want to beat that guy or girl. So, you know, I think, uh, you know, breeding competition is, is something that is crucial, uh, to what I want to do, because if you can be competitive with your teammates, you know, just imagine when you see that person, you know, uh, to the, to the next lane over, you know, with a different cap on, you know, that's, that's, um, that's a whole new element of competition that uh, you're prepared for. Um, and I think, uh, I think I want to, you know, I want athletes that are proactive and, and hold themselves accountable. Um, and, you know, I don't want to throw that word around lightly because it is important. Um, and it is a two way street with the, with the coaches as well. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I want to know that, that recruits, um, you know, that, that they, that they truly want to get better in and out of the pool. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that's, you know, they want to be a part of something new. I mean, this mm -hmm. is, make no mistake about it, this is, this is something brand new to TCU swimming and diving. And, and that's, that's kind of what I want to, you know, convey to the recruits that we're talking to that, you know, this is, um, you know, me being the head coach, I, you know, I, I want to just, you know, share the vision that I have with them and I, and I want to make it crystal clear. Yeah. So you see, you say it's, it's brand new, which is awesome. What are you, what are your goals, you know, across the next five years? I mean, obviously you're in the big 12, it will be great to see some more competition at that big 12, uh, championship meet. I mean, it's traditionally been kind of Texas just really getting after it. But as you build that new team, I mean, what's that vision that you're going to show to these potential recruits and these people coming on board? How are you going to make sure that they're aligned with those goals? I mean, not to dig too much into, into some, some hard questions, but I think it's really interesting, a, a fantastic case study for how you're going to really build this program. Well, it's, it's going to take time, you know, um, and, and I think the University of Texas is, is, a, is the gold standard for our conference. And um, for that matter, you know, they're, they're an elite team in, in the NCAA landscape. Uh, so, you know, we can, we can kind of look at the programs that they have um, as, as kind of the, you know, as the bar that, that, that we want to achieve. Um, and I think we'll not only improve in, in the Big 12, but uh, that, that'll certainly happen um, in NCAA as well. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, we, we got a long way to go. And I, and I think, I think the, the thing about uh, the athletes here that we have, you know, I, I think this program is closer than people think. And I truly believe that because, um, you know, there, you know, we, we do have a lot of hungry athletes on this team that, mm -hmm. um, that, uh, I, I think they're, they're buying in slowly to, you know, to, to what I'm, you know, what I'm preaching to them, you know, having a team meeting this past Monday to, to really lay it all out there. Um, you know, just kind of me introducing myself to the team and, you know, kind of talking about, you know, what, what, the, what the true standards are for this program. And, and there's going to be a lot of different standards. Um, so, you know, in that regard, it's, uh, you know, I absolutely want to, you know, say that, you know, we can, we can get here or here, but it's, it's a day by day grind. You know, I, I truly believe it's, this is a process oriented sport. Um, so, you know, the more that these athletes can engage, you know, the process. engage their minds, <laughs> um, <laughs> engage their mind uh, on the task at hand and, and really keep their mind stimulated in the water, you know, instead of falling the black line up and down all day long. Mm -hmm. you know, I think that's where they're going to improve every day. So, you know, you know, technique, um, you know, just really thinking about being explosive, um, you know, just really staying fit, you know, living the, the athlete lifestyle 24 seven, not just when you're in the pool, but, you know, making smart decisions when you exit the pool that you're, you know, eating like an athlete sleeping like an athlete, studying like a true athlete. And, you know, those are kind of the messages that I want to just continue to, to get across to the, to the team. Yeah. I mean, we, we heard similar talk when we talked to uh Cavage last week, mm -hmm. you know, he just loves the, the atmosphere that the NCAA level brings as opposed to, you know, I'm swimming for myself. We've heard that four or five times so far in this conversation. Yeah. And, and yeah. Uh, just touching on the amenities as well. I mean, making sure that you have a well-rounded athlete, somebody that's not just, going through the motions in the pool, but they're also taking care of, of diet and sleep and recovery, all those things, which is, uh, which is absolutely, it's just, you know, they, there's so much more to it than just swimming in the water. You know, it's, it's making you, you have a choice every day. It's just making a, a conscious decision that is going to be in your best interest and in, in your teammates best interest. Um, and, and that's, you know, in, in that regard, it, it's, it's not complicated. So, you know, just, 
you know, just, just really, you know, being dedicated to dry land and, and doing it, you know, not talking during dry land because if you're talking, that means you're not really focused. And, you know, so you know, there's a lot of, a lot of different things that, that kind of play into that. And, you know, if, if you can embrace that, then, you know, we're going to be, we're, you know, slowly, but surely we're going to, we're going to do what we want to do. And that's not only to, you know, to improve in the big 12, because we have nowhere to go, but up well, um, but, uh, but also, you know, we obviously we want to represent our program and our school at, at the NCAA uh, championships. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I'm going to kind of put you on the spot now. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. All great things on TCU there. I, I think we, we and everyone else are really excited to see how you develop the program. But now I kind of want to transition to story time. I mean, you have had a, you had a unique past. I mean, being able to, to coach with Frank at Arizona and Augie as well, and then also uh, be at UVA with um Augie and, and Corey and staff and you've had some incredible swimmers too I mean you've been on deck and watched the development of all those South African guys at Arizona Albert Subarats I mean you know the some of the guys in my era the gals in my era Lord Jackson and then you bump to UVA and you've got people like Leah Smith I mean I I don't know I'd be really interested to hear like craziest practice you've seen you know best trainer best racer just a funny story from deck. Anything you got, man. Yeah, just hit us. <laughs> Shoot. You know, I I mean I'm 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 old enough now, but I'm 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 I I guess I'm I'm fortunate enough to to you know be a part of you know the grassroots of you know what my dad built in Arizona. So I remember, you know, just just practices where, you know, just being a little kid, you know, on the pool deck, um, you know, and seeing like Reich Neithling and Chad Carvin go at it. <laughs> distance sets and uh you know trina jackson you know that was like uh, you know those those are very fond memories just you know kind of thinking back and you know and then you can kind of fast forward to you know kind of the championship era um you know that that you clark were a part of you know just just seeing countless um you know all americans and olympians just you know not only compete against each other in the pool but converse with each other on the pool deck and you know kind of kind of see that uh you know and, and it's just it was palpable man you could you could feel that and, and for me to kind of to be you know a volunteer coach and kind of seeing seeing that it, it was really cool so you know I I mean there's I can I can think of a, a ton of you know different practices I mean you know I mean Leah Smith is definitely one of the, the toughest racers I've ever witnessed in my whole life um, no doubt about that yeah. so she was a special athlete that uh, you know my good friend Corey Chitwood is um, you know, was able to coach. And, uh, so, you know, and I can go to Auburn too. There's a, there's a few years, you know, where, you know, I, right. I, I still, you know, I was still, uh, you know, coaching with Brett, you know, kind mm-hmm. of the, the sprint group there. And, you know, we had, you know, we still had, um, you know, you know, Fred Biscay and, you know, Laura Manadu was, you know, was training there for the 2012 games and, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I was able to coach Marcelo and, you know, just, uh, you know, a lot of practices like that. I, I wouldn't say they were, you know, maybe just like, you know, yelling at each other, but it was just like seeing like just, you know, beauty in the water. And I think that's something that I, I kind of took from coaches like, like Brett and Rick Damon is kind of the artistic side, the beauty of swimming that, that really, um, you know, I, I uh, just, I love so much about the sport. So, you know, I could, I can go on and on, man. Yeah. It's, uh, but I mean, you're right. It's just, uh, I'm just fortunate uh, to really be a part of a lot of great swimming wherever I've gone, and, and I certainly don't take that for granted. Yeah, so we see a pretty fresh whiteboard back there with a perked-up marker and eraser. What kind of stuff do you – Draw some plays. Yeah, what kind of stuff do you expect to see up there as you get started at TCU? Uh, we uh, Well, we had we had some stuff up there, but we had to erase it. Because, uh, <laughs> the secret uh, we, sauce. We, yeah, we hey, – yeah, well, this is the, that's the purple, purple sauce. The purple sauce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Purple drink. Um, but, uh, no, it's um, shoot. You know what? You, you guys name it, man. I'm I'm ready. So um, it's uh, you know, it's just it's all about uh, you know, you know, throwing down for your teammate. It's you know, just fundamental values that Clark Burkle, you know, very well, uh, and Kyle, you know, it's it's just you know, just just being there for your brother. I mean, it's just you know, just reinforcing a family atmosphere because that's what really. Um, is, is, is really cool to be a part of. And, and I want to, I want to do that at, uh, at TCU. So it's, um, it's, uh, that's what it is right here. 
Yes. <laughs> Here we go. This is exactly what we were hoping for. In the fresh TCU gear with the uh, the purple Nikes, if you don't the know. The <laughs> We actually got hooked up with some of those shirts, too. Yeah, I we, got, it. we have TCU polos, man, from our meet. Frog fam. <laughs> hashtag frog fam. <laughs> I love it. So if you're on Facebook Live right now, you got to comment below. Hashtag frog fam. <laughs> That's great. Frog fam, boys. What's up? <laughs> So we'll be oh. we'll be monitoring social media, looking for that to pop up. Yep. All right. So, yes, sir. So Sam, I mean, we'll we'll wrap it up here. I know we've we've had you on for a bit, but to play off that last point about kind of the family aspect, I mean, I remember at Arizona, I hated running so much, and and your <laughs> dad that. would run with us. You'd run with us. I mean, Augie would sometimes run with us. He'd typically be, you know, he is more of a weight room guy. I'd say. No, he was a runner. They all ran. <laughs> I'd but, like but, to sculpt the gun. Exactly. But but we knew when we go in those runs, like even if it sucked. Unless there was some sort of dire circumstance, like the coaches would be running with us. And it kind of – it did really make you feel like you were part of a family. Um, and it set the expectation that you would participate and you'd give it your all. So I'm sure you'll do the same there at, at TCU. Um, but, you know, you've got a great background for it. And it's going to be really exciting to see how the program develops and, and how you do there at there in uh, Fort uh, Worth. Frogland. Hey. Frog fam. Frog, yeah, hashtag right. Frogland. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I've been, uh, we, we just started our team run on Tuesday. I don't, uh, I don't know how accustomed these athletes were <laughs> to, to running on a consistent basis, but it's hot so right now too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so we're running early morning, you know, I'm, okay. I'm, uh, I'm certainly, uh, aware of, you know, the heat, it's very similar to Tucson. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've, uh, you know, we've been getting after it, uh, in the mornings, um, you know, Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And, and this morning we had a big old, uh, circuit inside the stadium, uh, so that's that's definitely a, a signature as well. But, you know, I'm of the mindset, you know, I, I love it when an athlete and, and this goes for dry land, too, because my dad was legendary for, you know, getting in on those yeah. on the dry land sessions on the pool deck at, at Hill and Brandon. Always working the core. Uh, it, it was almost, you know, seeing seeing like he was, uh, you know, almost about to pass out or something. I, <laughs> I truly felt that this morning after these <laughs> games. Cause just it, it was it was definitely up there. Um, but I, I'm of the mindset, you know, the athletes are like, oh, you know, this is so hard. You know, why don't you do it, coach? And I'm like, all right, I will. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, I, I will then. So, you know, that, that'll kind of shut them up real quick. And, uh, um, but, uh, Teach you know, it's, some respect. I think, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's really cool to kind of grind it out with, with the athletes. And, and, uh, you know, I, I really do think it, uh, it, 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 um, it takes it a step further when it comes to just, you know, you know, the, the trust, just getting to know them and, and knowing that you're, you're human just like them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I mean, I saw the same thing at ASU. Um, yeah. But speaking of – Well, debatable. <laughs> got a little <laughs> bit of a – well, actually, I'm two to one right now. I know. You're outnumbered. I'm going to need to bring a guest on the show so I can be yeah. two to one against Clark. <laughs> but so we've all, you know, ran in Arizona, which depending on the time of year can be pretty brutal. Um, how would you compare the Texas climate – to the Arizona climate, which one do you think is harder to train outside in? You know what? It, it I, I really do think it, it might be here because of the humidity. I mean, it, it yeah. has that 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 Texas heat, but you know, like just kind of like you know Arizona. Arizona is probably higher when it comes to the you know the the, the temperature, but it, that's kind of a dry heat, and you can kind of get used to that. And um, you know, so I think uh, you know here is like a mixture between like Auburn and Tucson. You know, mm-hmm. just the humidity. And it's been raining a lot lately, so um, I, I would honestly say probably here in Fort Worth. Yeah, I'd, I'd second that. Kind of get in shape. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it is tough when you're just it's running gross. around. It feels like you're running Step through outside, a, yeah. a wall of water, which actually I think it just started raining here. Yeah. So pretty similar. Yeah, well, Sammy, it's been, um, it's been great having you on the show. Again, we're really looking forward to uh, the success you're going to have there at TCU, and hopefully we'll be down um, – you know, checking out the program and we'll, we'll be seeing a new pool soon and you guys will be getting some good, uh, long outdoor training going on long course. Yeah. Style. You know, and yeah that's the, that's the thing too. I mean, we're, we're, we, we have the, there's a city pool that, uh, it's great. I mean, we're going to be able to train there for, um, as soon as we get in the water next week, um, we're, we're going to be, uh, training there for, for a good five to six weeks until it gets a little too cold outside. So, you know, we do have that luxury, so we're going to take full advantage of that, but yeah, you're right, man. As soon as uh, it's gonna be awesome. you, guys, you guys are, you guys are always welcome down here. Let's put it that way. Great. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to come by and stick a camera in y'all's face every yeah. once in a while. We'll get some good, sure. good stuff going. All right, Sam. Thanks, man. We'll be in touch soon. Yeah, definitely. All right, fellas. All right, good talking. Thanks. See you. Yep. 
So Sammy Bush. Um, yep. Sam Bush, I guess, is, is we used to call him Sammy, Sammy B. But um, it's going to be really cool to see how he does at TCU. I think it's, you know, you know Richard Sebasma did a great job. He was there yeah. for quite a while. But it's always great to see some new blood come in, too. And, um, you know, a, a younger guy like Sam with just some ambition. And TCU's a big school. I feel like they can really build a good program. Yeah, it is. I, mean, I actually took visits to TCU and SMU my first time around. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was cool. It was really cool. And like, like you talked about, the atmosphere around the football program yeah. especially is just awesome. We actually got to walk down right onto the football field when we were up there, and I mean, you can only imagine nice. what that's like during game day. Yeah, it's nice, and they have, you know, with that comes certain resources that are incredible for these collegiate athletes. For those of you out there watching that haven't been to school, I mean, that can include a nutritionist. It can include a full staff of people to help you with recovery. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, make sure that your shoulders and your knees are ready to go, and then also just game day you know, sports there, just the, the environment and the excitement. So it'll be really cool to see what he has to do. And he's obviously had some tremendous experiences at um, Arizona yeah. and Auburn and University of Virginia. And, I mean, he was raised in the Bush family, which is full of coaches, and Frank Bush, who was recently the, the national team coach yeah, um, and who led the University of Arizona to so many top four finishes, finishes in the wood, and then also a national championship in 2008, 2009. Yeah, um, I think so. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be cool to see what he does. I'm pumped for yeah. him. I mean, there's, there's a lot of movement in the Big 12 right now. You know, typically it's, it's pretty, I don't know, high end, yeah. if, you could, if you could call it that. Um, but, I mean, there's a lot of new talk about aquatic facilities. There's not a lot of teams, but I'd say about 50% of them are build. looking to. Yeah, maybe exactly. they, can, they can start a trend there. We can get a better, better Big 12 meet. Not that it's slow by any means, but maybe yeah. a couple more teams, more participants. So, good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, thanks for joining us, guys been a lot of fun we're yeah. gonna be back soon with a lot coming up next week maybe an arizona state person so i can go yeah. two up on clark yeah um, i don't know but thanks for joining us for another episode of outside smoke make sure to engage with us on social media at flow swimming on pretty much any site yep so thanks for joining us we'll catch you next time see you Peace.